Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Galio in the mid lane in Season 11, guys. We're going to be watching a specific Galio player. Like, this guy, this man likes to play Galio mid a lot. Uh, he's a challenger player, has about 1,073 LP right now on the EOS server, guys. We're going to be taking a look at this guy specifically today. And as we are going to be watching him, I'm also going to be explaining a lot of stuff about Galio as well, guys. So with that being said, uh, let's just get started right away. So for the runes that this guy is using, uh, specifically, he's going with the same setup pretty much every game. Uh, he takes Predator as the main keystone, then takes Taste of Blood, then takes Ghost Poro, Ingenious Hunter with Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, 2 points into AP, and having one point into magic resist. He also takes a Doran's Ring as a starter item in pretty much like, you know, all of his games. Um, he also likes to max out his Q first, then into his W, and then of course E as last. Now as for the entire full build of Galio, I'm going to leave out the entire full build inside of the description below. It's also the setup that this guy is using as well, so... This man also likes to play with Teleport as well as Flash uh, in mid. Makes a lot of sense, like Galio is just perfect for uh, for his ultimate as well as his Teleport rooms. Now, this champion specifically, you want to play Galio as aggressive as possible throughout the early game, right? Galio is always being played to play super aggressive, right? The main kind of playstyle that you want to have is sort of like a like a pushing, like constantly like pushing down the lane, so you can use that to like roam across the map, um, but also like deny the opponent the ability to like roam and even take farm at all. As you guys can see here, look at this Galio just pushing down that lane instantly through the Q and passive, and then immediately roaming top lane right after, guys. This is what I'm, I'm talking about. Galio's passive is an is extremely good in terms of like pushing down the lane as well as like bullying the opponent. His Q is just honestly outstanding for the same purpose. And having this combined, you can easily like push down lanes as Galio or just completely pressuring and even trade your opponent as well. This is honestly also a really good matchup for Galio as well. Just look at the damage that Galio is doing. Look at the way how he's trading, using his Q with passive first. He's kind of like waiting for Katarina to use the jump so he can actually hit the uh, his dash, the his E. Honestly, guys, Galio mid is probably one of the most aggressive things that you can currently pick in the season. Katarina's probably gonna roam. He can't play too aggressive though. Since uh, look at bot lane, look at the things that are running right now. He sees that there's a fight in the bot lane. Does not really fight Katarina right now. He's he was looking to see if he could like roam down there, but they stopped fighting. But plays like he currently has a ward in the top side left of the, of the river. Uh, the enemy jungler has just passed the lane as well. So he knows the location of the jungler. Now he can actually play super aggressive. He's taking his time trying to uh, take that Katarina down. Once she does go in though, it's like one free E and he just kills him instantly. Look at that. If he actually hit the E right there, he would have also hit the passive with the Q. Like the auto. Throwing in like that AoE damage, the extra damage. So honestly, like, this champion is, in terms of, like, pushing down the lane, the best way to carry as this champion is literally, quite literally, just to push down the lane constantly and, like, roam across the map the entire time. Uh, also, in this position, Galio is definitely stronger than Katarina right now, but there is a chance that Katarina might be baiting out uh, for the jungler. So that's why Galio actually didn't go in here. The chance is pretty likely that Galio could be nearby. He's taking it down very chill, guys. He's just being... He, he's playing Galli, like, being super relaxed here. Look at this. Pretty much taking most of the farm possible while also uh, roaming. And he's TPing right now. Okay. TPing down bot lane, guys. It's only five minutes in the game so far. 
he has already roamed to top lane to try and gank that lane uh, while also <coughs> while also using his teleport to go bot lane as well guys perhaps maybe he did not get a kill at all uh, during like uh, the moment when he went top lane and also when he went bot lane uh, but he did apply the pressure he also has more farm than Katarina does right now, despite actually like, uh, despite roaming top and bot lane, he is still ahead of Katarina right now, which is huge. Now as for the items, he actually went uh, for the blasting wind, he also went for the boots, for the predator, so... That's his current setup right now. Also has about two potions for trading. This galley, like... The way how he plays Galio is in a pretty safe way. He doesn't really take that many risks uh, when he plays his champion. He's always making sure not to like uh, to stay safe when the enemy team is not showing up, and this is a very very important skill. I can't talk enough about like you know when the jungler's missing, you don't want to walk up and that kind of stuff, you know. You gotta have really good map awareness to make Galio work perfectly. <clears throat> There's currently like a fighter on Dragon going. Uh, there is going to be a fight at Dragon very soon. Right now, he's already walking up to it. <clears throat> Takes down the dragon here as well. He goes to the dragon to ensure that Katarina does not actually go in to try and steal it. Now he can get back into the lane. He could start trying to fight Katarina. It's just kind of hard to do. Uh, depending, of course, on what kind of player you're playing against. Uh, generally, like, Cal Galio is actually a counter of Katarina. Uh, but it does really depend, like, what like what elo it is. In this case, this is a challenging game. Katarina is also a pretty good player. Also, the enemy jungler is missing the entire time. He could always be sitting at mid. And this is why Galio is currently not like walking out to fight him. <clears throat> Since the Jogger is always missing across the entire map, uh, he's unable to like fight that Katarina. Because the chances are pretty likely that there could be a Jogger here. This is why he plays like this. He sees a fighting bot lane, immediately ults to it as well, guys. Katarina is just moving around mid lane while Galio is using his ultimate to gank bot lane. So, so far at 8 minutes in the game, he's already ganked top, he already went bot lane, and he already went bot lane for the second time by using his ultimate, guys. This champion is just made for roaming purposes. Winning the early game through pressure and then using that to like roam to top and bot lane all the time using his ultimate. So he bought the Hextech alternator. He will eventually get the... Um, Get the Hextech uh, Rocket Bell as well as the Zanias with Mercs. Eventually. Currently walking back to mid lane. Bot lane seems to be pretty tilted right now because they seem to be already like swapping around. Leon is here as well. This is why uh, Galio, like, he can't really play that aggressive at all because Leona. Um, as well as the Jonah is like constantly missing across the map. There isn't really that many wards across the map. Uh, and this makes Gali like unable to do anything. Most importantly guys, the most important skill of League. It's as long as you don't have the vision, you shouldn't be doing anything. It's like the most important skill out there. Their jungle is like power farming in the in the jungle right now. Even though he might not show up that much, he's still here, like power farming everywhere. He's only got the uh, the help from Alistar too, but it doesn't really help. You can't really like catch a Katarina. He's not like you. You see, guys, Galio is not really using his E to go in there, right? Now there's a specific reason to this. As long as Galio saves up his E, he could counter Katarina at all times. 
That was a pretty good trade for Galio because the moment he goes in next time, he can actually get the kill on Katarina. But anyways, he's going back and forth. Now going back like out of the lane again, he saw like an opportunity to like go bot lane, but he doesn't take it because he's it's not worth it for him. But just see, guys, once um once you see an opportunity to use your ultimate in bot lane, or even when your ultimate is on cooldown right now, even in this case when Galio had like a 20 second or at least a 40 second cooldown on his ultimate. He was still like walking back out of the lane to see if he could move down bot lane to help them out. He just bought the mercs. Rushing down mercs as quickly as possible. Keep in mind that if you're playing with the roaming kind of playstyle. Um, keep in mind that the sooner you actually get to finish your boots and everything. Um, the better it is. Because the more movement speed you have obviously the, the better you can just roam across the map. His ultimate just came up as well now. Starts off by taking down the vision for the upcoming dragon. <coughs> the fact that Leona's here is not going to really help him that much. This is not really worth fighting unless Katarina goes in there. But you see guys, he, he's pretty much like topping the 100 CS at, uh, at, at like... 11 minutes in the game. He nearly got all to farm, just missing a few waves, that's all. If Katarina goes in there, he, they could clean him up. But you see, guys, he's taking a pretty safe kind of playstyle the whole time. He sees an opportunity to go bot lane, immediately walking up to it. They get the kill in bot lane, walks back, gets the dragon instead. Katarina so far, she also got like a few kills through the roaming, uh, um, she, like she's roaming as well. She's kind of having like a similar playstyle. <clears throat> Look at that, not even using his E right. He's not using his E because he could miss it and it could be worse. That's why he's holding it. He has to hold his E because if only once Katarina just outplays his E and he goes through. He will be in much trouble. <coughs> He's about to get his first iron right now. Let's see here. Yeah, he's buying the ruby crystal. He hasn't yet to complete his iron yet. He's pretty close though. Using his TP in top lane, trying to roam top lane, trying to like win this lane here as well now. You see guys, rather than like trading in the lane, trying to like win that lane, you see, like, Galia takes it completely different. This guy just roams the entire time. Nearly takes down that Leon as well. He knows that the Senna is right behind him, so he's walking up a little bit. Uh, he could be able to have him. But yeah, it's pretty risky, though, because Senna's on the way as well. That was a that's like a very clean E right there. That was like right on the spot. Oh, that's quite interesting. Takes down that Leona as well. Not really kind of sure what she was doing there, but whatever. Doesn't even go back to base yet. He's just going to walk it around and uh, walk, like walk around the walls. Take them from behind. Using the main key zone as well. Look at that. Super clean. Takes down his really a while. He's just waiting for his abilities to come back so he can actually uh, catch him. So, he's got about 3 kills right now. Just, by, just playing super clean. He hasn't really made a single mistake yet uh, in the entire game. He's just playing clean. <clears throat> Anyways, he's got the Hextech Rocket Bell right now. His next item is going to be the the Zanias. It's going to be helping him out a lot. So once again, guys, for the entire full build of Galio, don't forget to actually check out the description below. Uh, because I'm going to place it all in there. Oh. Look look at how he look at how he was actually being stunned and then using his E to so he wouldn't get stuck inside the stun. 
If you can time that out properly, you can't get stunned. <coughs> kind of unfortunate for him though, he actually nearly got caught inside there, he had to use his flash as well. But since he's like playing that clean in the game, he's, he's, he, he didn't really ever use his flash. He can just split bot lane right now, he could push like one wave, he could push even two waves, but most importantly his ultimate is on the 30 second cooldown, once he gets that he can just split forever. The ultimate of Galio allows Galio to roam across the map um, without having the fear of not being able to join the fight. As long as you kind of stay nearby of your team, you can always press your R. So like usually what I would recommend most of the time is like playing Galio like a kind of like a split pusher, sort of. As long as you stay like a little bit close to your team, you should always be okay. Just look at this. He's in the range of the ultimate. The team fight. Uh, the team is currently fighting the enemy team, but he can just press R like any time they need it. Now he can go back to bot lane again. He can just push. A gangplank is currently fighting mid as well. As soon as he pushes this out, he can just roam back mid. Drops down the Q, I think. No? Okay. Doesn't take the cannon. He just wants to like press R on it. Shut down. Does it, he hasn't used his ultimate yet. He's just waiting for the perfect time. He's going to kill him right from behind. Look, look at the way how he uses the item to get close. Holding his E for the right moment. Takes him down as well. He's just every time that this Galio, like this player, he, he he's holding his E for the best ever moment. He just keeps holding it until the moment is right. He doesn't just like use it. But rather he uses it on perfect timing. He could technically push one more wave, but it would be pretty risky. They're currently fighting for the dragon, and Galu has to be nearby for this. This is why he's roaming back mid, because his TP is currently down. He does have his ultimate though, but he has to stay nearby. <coughs> the only thing left to do now is just to push mid. If they reset soon, you can just go back to like split pushing again. Takes down the guy. Look at that. Currently 5 and 0. Oh. He's already so fat. The way how he plays Galius is honestly so clean. There's rarely like any mistakes during the game at all. <clears throat> Takes down the Katarina. He's kind of like cleaning up everything ac across, across the map the whole time. Walking with LSR, CCing everything, then following up with the E. Keep in mind guys, if people are being stunned and you actually use your E afterwards, you will always get a guaranteed hit. He could go back to base right now and come back super strong. He could push the next wave and then back off after. Just getting one single wave, backing up after, getting the item, and then coming back like super strong. Look at that. Okay, now he's going to back to base. He's going to get the uh, Zhonyas now. After he gets the Zhonyas, he just becomes unstoppable. Yeah, he goes back here. He has TP as well, so he could just TP mid. He has the Zanias. Probably he's probably just gonna TP. Yeah, he is. Immediately going like all in, risking literally everything to start off a fight here. Starting off like the final fight. The ultimate was kinda uh 
not very good though. He was trying to like act. He was trying to like start up an entire fight so they could win, uh, but the ultimate didn't really hit anybody. They were disengaging. The W was so clean, man. Yeah, honestly, ch honestly, guys, this is pretty much the way how you want to play Galio, man. This is the perfect way to do it. Galio is kind of like all about waiting for the abilities to like to use it like when when you need it. So when you have your E, you hold it off until the moment is right. When the enemy team is going all in with two people, you wait. You wait until they like they're until they engage with like four or five people so you can hit like all five people with W. For instance. Like that's that's like an example. All that's left to do for the for for the team now is to force the Baron and then rotate towards mid and then push it out all the way. You start starting off the Baron here. After they get this Baron, like the enemy team might as well uh, stop playing. Like they're gonna win hard here. Takes down the Baron. All they have to do now is just go mid. Finish off afterwards. Even when the enemy team does try to like fight for this, I mean Galio could just press R. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play Galio, guys. Uh, also, don't forget, I'm streaming as well, guys. I'm streaming like six times a week. So if you want to see like challenge games from me, uh, don't forget to check out my stream, guys. It will be linked inside the description. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching today, and. Uh, I'll catch you guys up next time. Peace.